During the past season, thousands of fans have seen the teams of the National Football League in action for the first time. The popularity of postgraduate football as played by the National Football League has grown by leaps and bounds because it is a clean, fair game packed with plenty of thrills and excitement. Some of the greatest college stars of all time are now playing National League football. As you will see, every player and every team plays to win. They have the same pride in their game that they have when they played for their college teams. This is one reason why a game between two National League teams is similar in spirit to a game played between two rival colleges or universities. And now for the high spots of some of these games with all their thrills and color. Red Barber, famous Wheaty sports announcer, will describe the game. So let's kick off, Red. And now let's go to the big game of the year. Up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the battle to decide the National League Championship of 1939 is being fought between the winners of the Eastern Division, the New York Giants, who are the defending champions, and the Green Bay Packers, winners of the Western Division. This should be the most exciting battle we've watched so far. It's really a struggle of titans, the pick of the football world. The Packers have won the title four times, and the Giants three. Coach Curly Lambeau of the Packers tells his boys that they're going to establish a new league record if they win the crown today. While the capacity crowd settles back to watch this classic clash, the coin is tossed. The Packers will kick off. Fullback Clark Hinkle boots it deep to the goal line. Ward Cuff for the Giants takes it, and he comes back 23 yards before being brought down. The Giants fail to make first down. The Packers take over as Green Bay rooters watch intently. They get started quickly as Arnie Herbert fades back and passes to Larry Craig on the 24-yard line. Again, it's Herbert, one of the league's deadliest passes, rifling to Don Hudson, who's downed on the Giants' six-yard line. This is pay dirt. And another pass from Herbert to Gattenbein in the end zone scores six big points for the Packers. New York's turn to roll. Huffy Lehman races for a first down before Uriman and Smith stop him. Janowski's back. He's going to pass to Lehman, who takes it and who keeps going clear down to the Packers' eight-yard line. Now the Giants are knocking on the touchdown gate. Janowski is back to pass again. There it goes, but it's intercepted by Brock, the Packers' center. Then the scoring threat as the first half closes. Packers still lead seven to nothing. Anything can happen in this good iron track. Again, the Packers kick off to the Giants. Go for the second half. Green Bay looks like a team of champions today. Their powerful attack begins to roll again as Clark Hinkle rips through the middle on a half spinner for a first down. They're in position to try a field goal. It's Engelbretson, the Packers' great place kick, booting one from the 20 yard line. Good for three more points. Green Bay rooters are happy. A few plays later, the Packers strike again. Cecil Isbell fades and passes down the middle to Joe Law, who's in the clear and over for another touchdown. Now the score is 17 to nothing for Green Bay, and still the Packers drive off. Here's Arnie Herber passing again to Jakonski, who snags it on the Giants' 25-yard line. From there, Herber holds as Ernie Smith kicks a field goal to make it 20 to nothing. Giants make the last desperate attempt. Len Barnum's long pass is intercepted by Svensson for the Packers, and Giant hopes a shot as he runs back to the Giant 15-yard line. In the closing minutes, the Packers pull a double reverse, with Jakunski finally taking the ball to the one-yard line. The Packers are the new champions of the National League, winning 27 to nothing. <laughs> 